Sir Isaac Newton believed that time was a thing in itself and connected in some way to motion. This is logical because the movement of any object is measured over a period of time. The other day I found a video on propeller clocks that really highlights this connection between motion and time. A propeller clock can only measure time accurately when it is in perpetual motion, spinning at a constant speed. But the perpetual nature of time is active even when an object is stationary relative to its surroundings. The object can remain in the same position in space, but seems to be moving continuously through time. In Newton's day, there was no way of understanding what this motion might be. But today we know that because the universe is never at absolute zero, everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light relative to its energy or temperature, even when it is stationary. This theory puts forward the idea that it is this process of energy exchange that is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light that forms the ever-changing world of everyday life that we see and feel as a flow or passage of time. We have photon energy continuously cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. That we see in the great complexity and diversity of cell life. We have an emergent future unfolding with each photon-electron coupling or dipole moment only occurring once, forming an uncertain future relative to the atoms. This forms an interactive process between the light of the electromagnetic spectrum and the atoms of the periodic table. Because all objects and life forms are made of atoms, we are an integral, interactive part of this process. We experience this universal process in many different ways. We can see it as light, feel it as heat, hear it as sound, and measure it as a period of time. Whenever the atoms of the periodic table bond and break, there is an exchange of photon energy. Therefore, at everyday temperatures, all physics, chemistry, and biology is based on this process of energy exchange. In such a theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a geometrical process of symmetry forming and breaking, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time as in Newton's differential equations. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual, photon by photon, moment by moment. A good way to think of this is that only energy is transferred by a wave Light is a wave unless it comes in contact with an atom. When it comes in contact with the electrons of an atom, we have an exchange of photon energy. At that moment in time, both light and matter, in the form of electrons, can be considered particles. Therefore, over a period of time, we have wave-particle duality relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This theory is explained in much greater detail in my other videos. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory that is totally outside of mainstream physics.